Oh my God, no one's at home and I'm so bored. This is a perfect opportunity to clean your room and work on some more content. Yeah, you're probably right. What do you think you're doing? Um, good Brian told me to get some work done. Oh no, but you've been working all week. That is true. You even work on weekends. Yup. Sure, the room is a mess. Uh-huh, but you were going to clean it up later, right? Yes, sir. So why don't you just go to your happy place and show yourself some love? Uh, what do you mean? What I'm saying is, why don't you get on one of those unique websites and practice some self-love? But only because if you don't love yourself, you can't properly love another person. Okay. Look, Brian, I know you've had a long week and you could use a break, but I promise you, if you take a few hours to clean up your huge stacks of laundry and dishes, you'll have even more time to rest later. Plus, you'll have more mental clarity and the quality of your content could increase. I heard Victoria Kicks just dropped a new video. Oh boy. I grew up in a house where everyone spent most of the day outdoors, but as the youngest in the family, I had to stay indoors. My parents wouldn't let me go out, not even to visit a friend because I was really young and I could be kidnapped. As if the kidnappers couldn't just break in and whisk me away. Those were not my best years, to be honest. I missed out on a lot of things going on at the time, and whenever I found myself in a social setting, I was always the weirdo because I never got any time to practice. But you see, the thing about avoiding the problems of one decision is that you have to face the problems of the other decision you settle with. For instance, as a parent or guardian, you may lock your kids at home and prevent them from any social interaction because the world is unsafe and uncertain. But now that there's no form of physical or mental stimulation, they may discover new ways to stimulate themselves that are also unsafe and uncertain. But we're not talking about those today. This video is going to be lighthearted, so stay tuned till the end. The events that I'm going to talk about happened recently, like a couple of weeks back. So I just got back home after a long day of serving my country. It was around 2 p.m. and Normally, at this time of the day, I'm supposed to be the only one at home. My cousin, whom I stay with, usually goes to work early in the morning and comes back later in the evening. I walked into the house, took off my boots and sat in the living room for a few minutes, thinking about my life and why I don't have 50k subs yet. Real quick, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe and if you're watching on Instagram, TikTok or Facebook, follow. Thank you very much. After thinking about my life for about 45 minutes, I plugged my phone in the second living room, then went to eat some leftover bananas in the kitchen and proceeded to my room to take a bath. I get into the bathroom, take off my clothes, get into the bathtub, and started thinking about my life again because apparently I do that a lot. After about 30 minutes, I realized that I needed to get some tunes playing in the background if I was ever going to have that bath. So I got out of the bathroom and went to get my phone without putting on a towel or even boxers. It was windy that day, so might as well catch some breeze. So I walked into the living room, picked up my phone, even replied some messages and scrolled on TikTok for like 10 minutes before I went to have my bath with Cool and the gang playing in the background. Later that evening, I was animating in the first living room when I heard a strange noise coming from the kitchen. My cousin hadn't come back yet, so I assumed it was probably maybe like a cockroach or something. But slowly, the noises I was hearing started to sound organized. I heard pots and cutlery followed by matches being struck. Surely a cockroach couldn't cook, so it must be a thief and he was probably making a quick meal so he could have the strength to rob me. I looked around me for potential weapons but I couldn't find any so I took my apple pencil and hoped for the best. I crept slowly to the kitchen and when I peeped in, I saw my cousin. Carpet, how did you get in? The doors are locked. I've been at home all day. In fact, my friend is around too. Is that so? Yeah. Is there a problem? Did something happen? Nope. Just making sure. We had a little conversation and then I went back to animating. Some minutes passed and she even brought her friend to say hi. We had a little conversation as well and at some point she was like, Wow, carpet, your cousin is so handsome. And I was like, you can say that again, sweetheart. I mean, I thought about saying it, but I didn't. And even though that day didn't turn out to be a disaster, I seldom asked myself, what if she caught me and saw my Tower of Babel? Mm -hmm.